guess what book I just finished reading. Huh. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Flo and you have landed on the Grape Jelly Library where we love to talk about those books. Today we are going to be talking about one book only. It's a solo act and it is a doozy. It is A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Have you read this? Have you seen the movie? It is a trip. I thought at this stage in my life that I should probably read this. Probably find out what the hubbub is about. And um, I bit the bullet and I purchased it and I brought it home and I said I was going to read it and truth be known, I probably wasn't going to. Um, I was probably going to stick it on a shelf somewhere, forget I had it and maybe one brave day in October, I would have picked it up off of a shelf, but there's no guarantee that would have happened. Thank goodness for my friends from the channels Bad is Rad and Big Hard Books and Classics. Go check out their channel. Give them likes and subscribes. They are fantastic. Very different and unique in their own ways, but wonderful chat channels and I am forever grateful for them. Um, Alan from Big Hard Books and Classics said that, you know, we're going to do a group read, me and bad, bad is rad, that is, um, that they were going to do a reading of this and I was more than welcome to join them. And I thought, you know what? perfect timing. I absolutely will join you and get this book read, done, behind me, out of my sight of vision. Let's just do this. There's no better time than the present, especially when you have friends to read it with. Um, I am chicken shit. <laughs> I don't like violence. <laughs> I don't like blood. I don't like gore. Um, I'm queasy with medical things. And I don't know, some things don't sit right with me. It, things like dystopia and violence, crying babies, and um, so there is a movie. I'm not going to do that movie ever, ever, ever. This is good enough for me. All right, so two different endings depending on, I guess, what book or uh, edition or version you have. Also, I am told, I'll never know for sure, that the book is more violent than the movie. So there's that. And um, I also read that Anthony Burgess, who wrote this, no longer um, favors it due to the fact that it is so high profile, high stream. Um, I believe it's never been out of print. Um, it's a mainstay. It's going nowhere. I think it's going to be here to stay for ever, if not a very, very, very long time. Um, okay, so Alan actually has, from Big Hard Books and Classics, he actually has a poster that he purchased um, from the artwork to the advertisements for the book and the movie. 
um, and it looks like this. So I thought I would share that with you. You can also Google your own um, graphics about the book, the novel, the propaganda. Um, on to what the book is about. The book is about a 15-year-old boy by the name of Alex DeLarge, who runs around with a group of other youths, and they run the streets, day or night, bullying, unsuspecting, um, totally innocent passers-by. Um, it said that Alex lives in government housing that is riddled with garbage in the hallway and graffiti on the walls. Um, they walk around the streets wearing cod pieces and carrying sticks. So they'll have these at the ready should they, the urge strike to beat someone up. Um, they're very cruel in their methods um, of violence. There, there's triggers in here. There is violence. There is heavy, heavy moments of satire. There is ultra violence, which is um, referred to as rape. Um, it's a very hard book, hard pill to swallow. Um, I, like I said, I'm chicken shit, but I got, I got through it. And there are certain things out there in this world that I cannot handle as an individual. I consider myself to be pretty strong, but some things I just can't handle. And some things I can handle and they just turn my stomach. This is one of those things. It turned my stomach, but in one of those curious ways that you have to research and Google and find out more until you can finally put it to rest. That was absolutely this book. I was looking up um, references and images and, um, you know, whatever I could just to scratch that itch of curiosity. If I had to rate this book, this is just weird. It is just strange, but I would, I would give it a five star rating for the simple fact that this book was meant to shock and it absolutely did. So the book delivered, it did its job. Um, there's no good scenes or good words written about this inside of the words of this book. Unless, unless you get that one addition. Uh, they both, depending on the edition you get, they will end very differently. So I'll say that without trying to say any spoilers. I'm trying to tread water um, cautiously here because I do not want to give any of this experience away. I only want to try and prep you, um, buckle you in your seat belt nice and snugly and safely because you are in for a wild ride. Do I think that you should read this book? Yes, absolutely. Um, you might end up absolutely loving it. Alan and Jessica both love it. And they've both seen the movie. Um, Alan may have read it several times. Um, and, um, they, they loved it. Um, they have stronger stomachs than I do. They were able to view the movie. Um, I don't know. Have I made you curious enough 
to want to pick this up that that's what i would recommend doing if you have not taken this journey and you are like me you've always wanted to but you know you just never took that step forward i would recommend the book first then go into the movie that's how that's how i would do it i don't know a vicious 15 year old droog is the central character of this 1963 classic in Anthony Burgess's Nightmare Vision of the Future. Where the criminals take over after dark, the story is told by the central character, Alex, who talks in brutal, invented slang that brilliantly renders his and his friends social pathology. A Clockwork Orange is a frightening fable about good and evil and the mean meaning of human freedom. And when the state undertakes to reform Alex to redeem him, the novel asks, at what cost? This edition, my edition, right here, includes the controversial last chapter not published in the first edition and Burgess's introduction, A Clockwork Orange Resucked. Um, so you have your critics out there who do not favor the ending that complete it my book i favor it i enjoyed that part um and i appreciated that um some of you out there want nothing to do with this version now i'm going to mention it did say invented slang so there are words in here when i first began to read this that said uh i said to myself you know, I don't know what a droog is. I don't know what glasses are. I don't know what um, vidied is. You can look these words up. I did not because as the book started to reveal itself and go on, I had a teacher back in school that said, if ever you don't know the meaning of a word that is used in a sentence, just look at that sentence and the other words that are surrounding it and you will be able to figure out what that word is. And that was the case in this book. I didn't have to look up any of the slang words. I was able to determine what they were talking about from the context of the sentence. So, but if you cannot do that, there is a index where you can refer to to just get a list of words and definitions to help you out with this. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. Did you read it? Comment below. Will you be reading this? <laughs> it is something. Something to talk about. And there is something to be said about the imagination of this author. Now, I'm just going to say this too. There are audible versions of this. There is a six disc audible version on YouTube. I will post the link in my description. And that narrator who is escaping me right now, his name, I apologize, but he did a fabulous job of, um, acting out this book as the character of Alex. Um, yeah, he did a phenomenal job. So maybe you want to do that version. It doesn't take long. I started this book, I want to say Thursday or Friday. And today is Monday and I'm done with it. I couldn't get to it Yes. Saturday. I was just too busy. So really, I'll say I started it Thursday a little bit, Thursday night, um, then Friday, and then Sunday, and I finished it today. Um, maybe, maybe this book is for you. Um, maybe you're heading for like maybe you need something to break up the monotony of what you're reading um this certainly did it for me i was in the middle of a john Gotti book 
when I had to abandon that mission because this one, this one took precedence. Um, yeah, do it. Just do it. What the heck? If you have the stomach for it, do it. Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would be ever so grateful for that subscribe. And also thank you so much to the channels Bad is Rad and Big Hard Books and Classics for taking this journey with me, conversing with me, and just helping me to get through this. Um, maybe, maybe you can find a buddy to read it with too. That's, if you're like me, that's the method that I would highly recommend. Find a buddy to read, read it with you. Um, until my next video, know that I love you. Be well, be good, be reading, and may all your book dreams come true.